Have you ever wondered what it truly takes to find inner peace and fulfillment in a world filled with constant distractions and challenges? Imagine waking up each day with a profound sense of calm and purpose, unshaken by the external chaos that surrounds you. This might seem like an unattainable dream, but what if I told you that this state of being can be achieved through the practice of Stoicism, an ancient philosophy that offers timeless wisdom for modern living? Stoicism teaches us that the key to a fulfilling life lies not in changing our external circumstances, but in transforming our internal mindset. By focusing on what we can control, our thoughts, actions and responses, we can cultivate a sense of tranquility and resilience that helps us navigate life's ups and downs with grace and composure. Today, we will delve into the benefits of ignoring people, exploring how understanding the cause of unhappiness, identifying and detaching from the mind, observing our thoughts, creating space for presence and stillness, and embracing meditation can transform our lives. Join me as we embark on this journey into the heart of Stoicism, uncovering practical insights and techniques that can help us live more mindfully, intentionally, and joyfully. Whether you're seeking to overcome stress, improve your relationships, or simply find greater meaning and satisfaction in your daily life, these Stoic principles offer a roadmap to inner peace and fulfillment. 1. The Story of Noah and the Ark The book of Genesis recounts the story of Noah, a man chosen by God to build an ark and save his family and a pair of every species from a global flood. Noah's task was monumental and seemed impossible to those around him. As he worked tirelessly on the ark, he faced ridicule and disbelief from his peers. They found it hard to believe that such a catastrophic event could happen. However, despite the mockery and widespread disbelief, Noah remained steadfast in his mission, following the divine instructions given to him. This story beautifully illustrates a core Stoic principle the ability to ignore external noise and remain focused on one's inner convictions and duties. Noah's environment was rife with corruption and moral degradation, yet he did not allow the negativity and skepticism of others to deter him from his path. His unwavering commitment to his task, despite the ridicule, exemplifies the Stoic ideal of focusing on what is within our control and disregarding what is not. Noah's success in completing the ark and surviving the flood serves as a powerful metaphor for the benefits of ignoring negative external influences. By staying true to his mission and not succumbing to the distractions and doubts of others, Noah was able to fulfill his divine purpose. This story teaches us that sometimes, to achieve our goals and stay true to our values, we must learn to ignore the naysayers and stay focused on our inner guidance. 2. The Negative Connotation of Ignoring People In modern society, the act of ignoring people often carries a negative connotation. It is frequently perceived as rude, arrogant, or dismissive. When we think of ignoring someone, it may conjure images of purposefully not replying to messages, walking away from conversations, or giving someone the silent treatment. These actions can indeed be seen as forms of manipulation or expressions of superiority. However, from a stoic perspective, ignoring people is not about disrespecting others, but about preserving our own mental and emotional well-being. Stoicism teaches us that we are not obligated to respond to every demand for our attention. Just because someone wants to communicate with us does not mean we must always engage. Our attention is a valuable resource and we must be discerning about where and how we invest it. In a world where everyone and everything is constantly vying for our attention, learning to ignore certain stimuli can be crucial for maintaining our sanity and focus. Moreover, ignoring people is sometimes necessary to protect ourselves from negative influences. 
there are individuals whose opinions and behaviours can be toxic and detrimental to our well-being. By choosing to ignore these individuals, we create a boundary that safeguards our mental health and allows us to focus on what truly matters. This selective attention is not an act of arrogance, but a practical strategy for self-preservation and personal growth. 3. The Benefits of Ignoring People While ignoring people may initially seem counterintuitive, especially in a society that values connectivity and communication, it has several significant benefits. One of the primary advantages is the preservation of our mental and emotional energy. Engaging with everyone who demands our attention can be exhausting and overwhelming. By being selective about who we interact with, we can conserve our energy and focus it on more meaningful and productive activities. Another benefit of ignoring people is the enhancement of our autonomy and self-reliance. When we constantly seek validation and approval from others, we become dependent on their opinions and judgments. This external reliance can undermine our confidence and decision-making abilities. By learning to ignore the noise of external opinions, we strengthen our inner voice and become more self-reliant. This aligns with the Stoic principle of focusing on what is within our control, our thoughts, actions and responses, rather than what others think or say about us. Ignoring people can also help us maintain our focus and concentration. In today's digital age, distractions are ubiquitous. Social media, instant messaging and continuous notifications can fragment our attention and disrupt our workflow. By intentionally ignoring these distractions, we can create an environment that supports deep work and sustained concentration. This improved focus allows us to be more productive and achieve our goals more effectively. Furthermore, ignoring negative and toxic individuals can significantly improve our mental health. Constant exposure to criticism, negativity and drama can take a toll on our emotional well-being. By distancing ourselves from such influences, we can create a more positive and supportive environment. This helps us cultivate a sense of inner peace and resilience, enabling us to navigate life's challenges with greater ease. 4. Ralph Waldo Emerson on Self-Reliance Ralph Waldo Emerson, the American philosopher and essayist, emphasized the importance of self-reliance in his famous essay titled Self-Reliance. Emerson criticized the tendency of people to rely on outside influences and societal expectations in their decision-making processes. He believed that true fulfillment and wisdom stem from trusting one's inner voice and convictions over external advice. Emerson's philosophy resonates deeply with Stoic principles. He argued that our inner guiding light is the best compass for making decisions and that by trusting our inherent thoughts and convictions, we can lead a more authentic and fulfilling life. He famously wrote, What I must do is all that concerns me, not what the people think. This statement encapsulates the essence of self-reliance, and the importance of ignoring external opinions that do not align with our inner values. According to Emerson, the opinions of others can be valuable food for thought, but they are no match for our inherent voices. He believed that ignoring the noise of external influences allows us to hear our true selves better. This self-trust leads to a better, more authentic life where our actions are guided by our principles and values rather than the fleeting approval of others. Emerson also acknowledged that being alone is the simplest way to shut out external chatter. However, he argued that the real test is staying true to our inner voices, even when surrounded by others. This aligns with the stoic practice of maintaining inner tranquility and focus amidst external chaos. By cultivating self-reliance and trusting our inner voice, we can navigate life with greater confidence and clarity. 5. Technological Advancements and Increased Communication 
Technological advancements have revolutionized the way we communicate, bringing the entire world to our fingertips. From old-fashioned letters and phone calls to messenger apps and video calls, we are now more connected than ever before. Social media platforms have further amplified this connectivity, allowing us to interact with people from all corners of the globe. While these advancements have undoubtedly made our lives easier in many ways, they have also introduced new challenges. One of the most significant challenges is the constant bombardment of stimuli and information. The smartphone, in particular, has become an extension of the human body, delivering an unending stream of messages, notifications and updates. This continuous influx of information can be overwhelming and disruptive, making it difficult to maintain focus and inner peace. Stoicism teaches us to be mindful of how we use technology and to set boundaries that protect our mental and emotional well-being. By being selective about our digital interactions, we can reduce the noise and create a more balanced and peaceful environment. This might involve turning off notifications, limiting screen time, or taking regular breaks from social media. By doing so, we can regain control over our attention and create space for more meaningful and intentional activities. Another challenge posed by technological advancements is the blurring of boundaries between work and personal life. With the ability to be constantly connected, it can be challenging to disconnect and find time for rest and relaxation. This constant connectivity can lead to burnout and negatively impact our mental health. By setting clear boundaries and intentionally ignoring work-related communications outside of designated hours, we can create a healthier work-life balance and protect our well-being. Furthermore, the increased accessibility and visibility provided by social media can expose us to negative opinions and criticism. While it is natural to seek validation and approval, relying too heavily on external feedback can undermine our self-confidence and autonomy. Stoicism teaches us to focus on our inner values and principles rather than seeking external validation. By ignoring the negative opinions and focusing on our inner guidance, we can cultivate a sense of self-reliance and resilience. 6. The Impact of Social Media on Mental Health Social media has become an integral part of modern life, offering a platform for connection, self-expression and information sharing. However, research suggests that excessive use of social media can have detrimental effects on mental health. A study published in the US National Library of Medicine found that excessive social media usage is strongly correlated with the development of anxiety, depression, insomnia, stress, decreased subjective happiness, and a sense of mental deprivation. The constant exposure to social media can create a distorted perception of reality. People tend to share only the highlights of their lives, leading to unrealistic comparisons and feelings of inadequacy. This highlight real effect can negatively impact self-esteem and contribute to a sense of discontentment. By ignoring or limiting our exposure to social media, we can mitigate these negative effects and cultivate a healthier self-image. Social media also contributes to the phenomenon of information overload. The endless stream of updates, news and opinions can overwhelm our cognitive capacities, leading to mental fatigue and decreased productivity. Stoicism encourages us to focus on what is essential and within our control. By intentionally ignoring the constant influx of information and prioritizing meaningful activities, we can enhance our focus and mental clarity. Furthermore, social media platforms are designed to capture and hold our attention, often through the use of algorithms that prioritize sensational or emotionally charged content. This can create a cycle of addiction where we continuously seek the next dopamine hit from likes, comments and shares. 
by recognizing this addictive nature and setting boundaries around our social media use, we can break free from this cycle and regain control over our attention. Ignoring the negative aspects of social media does not mean completely disconnecting from it. Instead, it involves being mindful of how we use it and making intentional choices that support our well-being. This might include curating our feeds to include positive and inspiring content, setting time limits for social media use, and engaging in offline activities that bring us joy and fulfillment. 7. The Effects of Social Media on Attention and Focus In the age of digital connectivity, our attention and focus are constantly under siege. Social media, with its endless scroll of updates, notifications and interactions, is a primary culprit. For many, the smartphone has become an extension of the self, constantly buzzing with new information and demands for attention. From a stoic perspective, this incessant distraction is a significant obstacle to achieving tranquility and self-mastery. The Stoics emphasized the importance of maintaining control over one's mind and attention. They believed that true wisdom and fulfillment come from focusing on what is within our control, our thoughts, actions and responses. When our attention is fragmented by social media, we lose this focus and become reactive rather than proactive in our lives. The constant influx of information from social media can overwhelm our cognitive resources, leading to mental fatigue and decreased productivity. To counteract these effects, Stoicism encourages us to cultivate mindfulness and intentionality in our use of technology. This might involve setting specific times for checking social media, turning off unnecessary notifications and creating tech-free zones or periods in our day. By taking these steps, we can reclaim our attention and focus on what truly matters, whether it be personal growth, meaningful relationships or productive work. Furthermore, the stoic practice of journaling can be a valuable tool in managing our digital habits. By regularly reflecting on how we spend our time and the impact of social media on our well-being, we can make more conscious choices about our digital consumption. Journaling allows us to identify patterns of distraction and develop strategies to minimize their impact. This self-awareness and intentionality align with the stoic goal of living a life of virtue and purpose, guided by reason and self-control. 8. Ignoring negative opinions and criticism. In any public endeavor, whether online or offline, negative opinions and criticism are inevitable. For those with an online presence, like content creators, this negativity can be particularly pervasive and challenging to manage. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus offers valuable guidance in this regard, suggesting that we should approach criticism and negativity with equanimity, much like encountering rude behavior in a public space. Epictetus uses the analogy of visiting a Roman bathhouse, where one might encounter people splashing water, behaving rudely, or using abusive language. He advises that we should expect such behavior and not let it disturb our peace of mind. Similarly, in the digital age, having an online presence naturally exposes us to trolls and critics. By expecting and accepting this as part of the territory, we can build resilience and maintain our inner tranquility. Ignoring negative opinions and criticism requires a shift in perspective. Instead of taking negative comments personally, we can view them as reflections of the commenter's state of mind rather than an accurate assessment of our worth or work. This detachment aligns with the stoic practice of distinguishing between what is within our control and what is not. We cannot control how others perceive or respond to us, but we can control our reactions and maintain our composure. Additionally, focusing on constructive feedback rather than negativity can help us grow and improve.
The Stoics valued honest and thoughtful criticism that could contribute to personal development. By discerning between helpful feedback and mere negativity, we can use criticism as a tool for growth rather than a source of distress. This selective attention helps us stay focused on our goals and maintain a positive and resilient mindset. 9. The value of attention in the modern world. In today's attention economy, where countless entities vie for our focus, our attention has become one of our most valuable resources. Companies, advertisers, social media platforms, and even individuals seek to capture and hold our attention for their own purposes. From a stoic perspective, this makes it all the more crucial to guard our attention jealously and allocate it wisely. The Stoics teach that our attention should be directed towards what is truly important, our own thoughts, actions and the cultivation of virtue. When we allow our attention to be scattered by external distractions, we risk losing sight of our priorities and goals. This can lead to a sense of dissatisfaction and a lack of fulfillment as we spend our time and energy on things that do not align with our values. To value our attention means to be intentional about where we direct it. This involves setting clear priorities and boundaries and being mindful of how we spend our time. One practical approach is to create a daily routine that includes dedicated periods for focused work, reflection and leisure while minimizing distractions. By doing so, we can ensure that our attention is used in a way that supports our personal and professional growth. Moreover, the stoic practice of negative visualization can help us appreciate the value of our attention by imagining the loss of our ability to focus or the consequences of being constantly distracted, we can develop a greater appreciation for our cognitive resources and be more motivated to protect them. This practice aligns with the Stoic principle of memento mori, reflecting on the impermanence of life and the importance of living mindfully. Ultimately, Valuing our attention means recognizing it as a finite resource that significantly impacts our quality of life. By being selective about where we invest our attention, we can create a life that is rich in meaning and purpose, guided by our deepest values and aspirations. 10. The power of ignoring people to boost creativity. Creativity often requires deep focus and uninterrupted time, free from the distractions and influences of others. Many of history's most creative minds, like J.K. Rowling and Nikola Tesla, have harnessed the power of isolation to produce groundbreaking work. From a stoic perspective, this aligns with the idea of focusing on what is within our control, our creative efforts and output, while ignoring external distractions. Ignoring people and external noise can provide the mental space needed for creativity to flourish. When we are constantly bombarded by others' opinions, social media updates and the demands of everyday life, it becomes difficult to enter the state of deep focus known as flow. By intentionally isolating ourselves from these distractions, we can create an environment that supports creative thinking and problem-solving. Stoicism encourages us to cultivate inner tranquility and focus, which are essential for creative work. This involves setting boundaries around our time and attention, and being disciplined about maintaining these boundaries. For example, dedicating specific hours of the day to creative pursuits and minimizing interruptions during this time can help us achieve deeper levels of focus and productivity. Moreover, the stoic practice of reflecting on our goals and values can enhance our creative endeavors. By regularly journaling about our creative projects and the impact we hope to achieve, we can stay motivated and aligned with our purpose. This reflection helps us maintain a clear vision of what we want to create and why, providing a strong foundation for our creative efforts. Additionally, Ignoring the skeptics and naysayers is crucial for creative success. Creative work often involves taking risks and exploring new ideas, 
which can attract criticism and doubt from others. By focusing on our own vision and not being swayed by external negativity, we can pursue our creative goals with confidence and resilience. This aligns with the stoic principle of self-reliance and trusting our inner voice. 11. Superficial Relationships versus Meaningful Bonds In a world where social media and technology have made it easy to connect with countless people, the quality of our relationships has come into question. Many individuals have numerous superficial connections but lack deep, meaningful bonds. From a stoic perspective, cultivating a few close, authentic relationships is far more valuable than maintaining many shallow ones. Stoicism teaches that true fulfillment comes from nurturing relationships that are based on mutual respect, trust and shared values. Superficial relationships, which often revolve around small talk and social appearances, do not provide the same level of emotional support and growth as meaningful bonds. By focusing our attention on a few key relationships, we can build deeper connections that enrich our lives. One of the challenges in the digital age is the tendency to scatter our attention across a wide network of acquaintances, often at the expense of more significant relationships. This can lead to a sense of loneliness and disconnection, even when we are surrounded by people. By being selective about who we invest our time and energy in, we can foster relationships that are truly fulfilling and supportive. The Stoic philosopher Seneca emphasized the importance of surrounding ourselves with virtuous and like-minded individuals. He believed that our character is shaped by the company we keep and that meaningful relationships are essential for personal growth. By focusing on building relationships with those who share our values and aspirations, we can create a supportive network that encourages us to live virtuously. Additionally, meaningful relationships require time and effort to develop. By ignoring superficial interactions and dedicating ourselves to nurturing deeper connections, we can create bonds that are resilient and enduring. This involves being present, listening actively, and being willing to support and be supported by others. 12. Arthur Schopenhauer on Keeping People at a Distance Arthur Schopenhauer, the German philosopher, offered a pessimistic view of human relationships, comparing them to hedgehogs. He suggested that while we seek the warmth of close connections, we must also be cautious of getting too close, as we can hurt each other with our sharp spines. This analogy highlights the delicate balance between intimacy and independence in our relationships. From a stoic perspective, maintaining a certain distance in relationships can be beneficial for preserving our peace of mind and autonomy. While close relationships can be rewarding, they can also be a source of conflict and emotional turmoil. By keeping people at a safe distance, we can protect ourselves from unnecessary drama and maintain our inner tranquility. Stoicism teaches that we should not become overly attached to external things, including relationships. While it is natural and healthy to form bonds with others, it is important to remember that our happiness and fulfillment should not depend entirely on these connections. By cultivating a sense of self-reliance and inner strength, we can enjoy our relationships without being overly dependent on them. Moreover, the stoic practice of setting boundaries can help us maintain healthy relationships. This involves being clear about our needs and limits and communicating them effectively to others. By setting and respecting boundaries, we can create relationships that are balanced and respectful, where both parties feel valued and understood. Schopenhauer's advice to keep people at a distance also aligns with the Stoic principle of focusing on what is within our control. We cannot control the actions and behaviours of others, but we can control how we respond and how much we allow them to affect us. 
By maintaining a healthy distance, we can protect our peace of mind and remain centered in our values and principles. 13. Conclusion The Right to be Selective with Our Attention In conclusion, the practice of ignoring people, when done mindfully and intentionally, aligns closely with Stoic principles and can significantly enhance our well-being. By understanding the cause of unhappiness, identifying and detaching from the mind, observing our thoughts, creating space for presence and stillness, embracing the essence and benefits of meditation, valuing our attention, and cultivating meaningful relationships, we can live a more fulfilling and virtuous life. Stoicism teaches us that our attention is a precious resource that should be guarded and directed towards what truly matters. In a world filled with distractions and demands, being selective about where we invest our attention allows us to maintain our focus, achieve our goals, and cultivate inner peace. By ignoring negative influences, toxic individuals, and superficial interactions, we create space for personal growth, creativity, and meaningful connections. Ultimately, the right to be selective with our attention is about taking control of our lives and aligning our actions with our deepest values and aspirations. As we embrace these stoic principles, we embark on a transformative journey towards becoming our best selves, creating a life of purpose, integrity, and enduring fulfillment. Let us remember that our attention is finite and valuable, and let us use it wisely to live a life that is true to our highest ideals.